Family, in order for us to prosper in the pandemic, we have to make those conscious decisions. We have to minimize any and all distractions. Stop scoreboard watching. Stop scoreboard watching. I've done it. And when you scoreboard watch, everybody loses. Welcome to Beyond the Ball Podcast. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, ballers? And welcome to another episode of the Beyond the Ball podcast. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones. And today I wanted to just talk about taking a step back, okay? Taking a step back because I understand that we're still in the midst of a worldwide pandemic, okay? Even though I was on Twitter just the other day and I looked up, And I saw somebody share a photo. I believe it was from China. And it looked like they were having something like a large, massive party. It seemed like a raid, a rave. Excuse me. It seemed like a rave, not a raid. It seemed like a rave. And there were it looked like hundreds of thousands of people. And it was just mind blowing to see that they abided within guidelines. And now they're able to celebrate now they're able to party like they desire to party now they're able to live life the way they want to live life and it just made me think of while we're here in the midst of a pandemic how can we continue to be productive and how can we get to the point to where we prosper through the pandemic so today i want to give you three steps I want to give us three steps today to help us prosper in the pandemic, to help us prosper post pandemic. But this right here is life skills application. And I'm going to provide a map. That's what we're going to call today. It's going to be a map because in this acrostic, I'm going to lay out three tips that will help us strategize and be effective in in this time. Okay, last weekend, my my wife and, and, and her side of the family, we all went fishing. Okay, do you fish? I haven't fished in a while. Okay, and we got out there. We started throwing out our rods, started sitting, we started relaxing, and there was about four or five of us, right? And the funny thing about fishing, just like any other level of competition, if we're not careful, then we'll start to watch and look and see what everybody else is doing, as opposed to us just minding our own business and just tending to our fishing pole, just tending to our line in the water. So the first thing I wanted to share with you all was is this right here. It's it's minimize all distractions. And I say minimize all distractions because I want us to understand that we have to stop scoreboard watching. John, what's scoreboard watching? It's when we began to look on Instagram. It's when we began to look on Twitter. We began to look on TikTok. This person has more followers than me. Oh, look at that person. Why are they over there? We have to minimize distractions. Friends, I was out there fishing. However, I was on my phone. And it was the weekend. And my father-in-law said, John, put that phone away. What you doing, son? You're supposed to be fishing. Today is not the time to do work. And I said, wow, he has a very valid point because he caught me on the phone. And in meantime, while I'm on the phone, I was in a position to where I could just relax, where I can be one with nature. Right. So we have to minimize distractions. And that means getting off social media sometimes. That means not always looking at what everybody else is doing, because then we might want to follow suit. Okay, so we have to minimize those distractions. And then as we minimize them, then we begin to see what's a true priority, what we need to be focusing our attention on. Instead of our attention being focused on other people operating in their own lane, doing what they're supposed to be doing. So that that's the first one. Right. We're going to stay with the fishing story because it makes a lot of sense. The second one is. Y'all, I was out here trying to fish. Like I told you, I haven't fished in a while. Has anybody fished before? If you have, and you're watching this video on YouTube, 
comment down in the comment section. I want to know if you fished in a while because it was my first time fishing in probably like 10, 15 years. Okay. It was a while. But I'm 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 out there and I'm throwing out my line and I'm reeling it back in. I'm throwing out my line and I'm reeling it back in and I would put my hook in the water, my worm would get eaten. I put my hook in the water, my bait would get eaten again. I'm like, man, what's going on? Until my father in law said, Well, Johnny, you know we have some chicken livers as well. And after he said that, I was like, okay, I'll try chicken liver. I'll drop a chicken liver in the water. We'll see what happens. And that's when I began to realize, family, what I want to share with you that A, is that adjustments are necessary. Through the midst of this time with people going back to school, with people going back to work, with some people doing a hybrid model where they're teaching online and then some they're also teaching in class. Nobody currently has the answers right now. And that's the crazy thing about our own lives. Nobody has the answer to tell you to be successful. Jonathan doesn't have the answer to tell you to be successful. However, I can make a suggestion. You can try different things. Just like Thomas Edison, the dude with the light bulb. They said he did a he failed a thousand times before he figured out a way for the light bulb to become an invention that actually worked. He made adjustments. He changed things and then tried it again. He changed things and then tried it again. He changed things and tried it again. Y'all, we was out there fishing. And then the worms kept eating. The the fish kept eating the worm off my hook. Then I got to the point and said, well, what can I do that's different? How can I how can I switch it up? Then I changed my hook. After I changed my hook and then I changed my bait. Just to see what could be different. What adjustments can you begin to make? Can you get to the point today to where you're willing to sacrifice 15 minutes, sacrifice 20 minutes instead of Watching something on Netflix to now use 20 minutes to read a book. Can can you make a change to where you're not watching a movie, but now you're watching a documentary? Can you change and do an adjustment to where now you're not just trying to make TikTok videos for 45 to 60 minutes, but now you're listening to a podcast episode? So adjustments are adjustments are necessary. Adjustments are required. So understanding those things now, the last one, I want you, I want you to, to, to be positioned for power. I want you to be positioned for progress. I want you to be positioned to prosper. John, well, well how do I get positioned to prosper? Well, the first thing I, I, I would ask you is, what are you doing with your time? What are you doing with your time? I want you to begin to ask yourself this question. Here's the what. This is the what. Is what I'm doing right now bringing me closer to the goals and dreams that I have? Simple question. You can ask yourself that before anything. Is what I'm doing right now bringing me closer to the goals that I have? That's the first question. The second one is the who. Who am I learning from? And who am I leading? Right? Because we we should always be in a position to where we're learning from someone else. If we put ourselves in a position to learn from someone else, now this is us making a a conscious and honest effort to humble ourselves to hear what somebody else is saying and then apply that information because they might have more life experience than us. And the second part is who are you leading? You always should be leading someone else. 
because this puts us in position to where now this person can step up after we leave. If it be a job, if it be uh, at school, if it be on a team, this is how we can continue to set up proper leadership. Okay. So we asked ourselves, is what I'm doing bringing me closer to my goal? That's the what. Is what I'm doing right now bringing me closer to our goal? The who. The who is plain and simple. The who is who am I learning from? Who am I leading? And lastly, it's the win. I shouldn't even have to ask this question. When are you going to get started? I'm not even asking when because the win is right now. Family, in order for us to prosper in the pandemic, we have to make those conscious decisions. We have to minimize any and all distractions. Stop scoreboard watching. Stop scoreboard watching. I've done it. And when you scoreboard watch, everybody loses. Everybody. Except for the person that's playing the game. Always. Always. The second point, adjustments are necessary. We have to learn how to adjust. Just like football players, they go, hut, hut. But sometimes before they call the play or sometimes before they hike the ball, they call the audible because they see what the defense is doing on the other side. And they say, well, we have to switch it up. So adjustments are necessary. Make sure that you're ready to adjust to the pandemic. Make sure that you're ready to adjust after the pandemic. Make sure that you find a way to adjust in whatever situation you're in. Adjust your TV intake. Adjust you taking time and connecting with friends, building relationships. This is a great time to build relationships because people are having more screen time and they have a little bit more availability than ever before. Reach out. And then the last one, like I said, position yourself to prosper. Boom. It's what I'm doing today, leading me closer to my goal, to my dreams. Who am I? learning from and who am I leading and the last one when should I start doing this right now ballers we want to thank you for rocking with us on this episode and we want to remind you to be sure that if this podcast added value to your life today if you feel that this was helpful beneficial and served you well then I would encourage you uh, to subscribe on whatever platform you're listening, Apple Podcasts, on the, our YouTube channel. Um, and even in those things, we would just love if you left a helpful review. Just went on Apple Podcasts, typed in Beyond the Ball with Jonathan Jones. You scroll down and then click the Write a Review. And then we would love to shout you out on the show. We would love to um, just show our love, show our support. And ultimately, friends, today I challenge you. Today, I challenge you just to share this episode with one friend, with one friend. And we say with one friend because ultimately we're all about service. And if you can help us serve and support more people, that would mean the world to me. So once again, my friends, this is another great episode. My name is Jonathan Jones, and this is Beyond the Ball where we help you succeed beyond your degree. Take care, my friends. I'll see you next week.